popularity of outdoor recreation in the United States continues to grow with over 140 million Americans making it a part of their daily lives. Most livable, vibrant communities have a great park and open space system. Parks are often an overlooked part of our community's infrastructure. It's not just about streets, it's not just about having, you know, grocery stores and apartment building and low-income housing. You've got to have parks. State and local parks are facing an $18 billion shortfall in their, in their necessary funds. National parks, some $11 billion shortfall. At the federal level, though, they're going to have to make some priority decisions. They're going to have to decide that visitors to national parks, that's an important thing. And yet, we're not able to invest in them at the level that we need to. And like everything else, they are they're deteriorating. Parks have become very sophisticated, and anymore it's not enough just to have a swing set. Uh, you've, got to, you've got to have uh, amenities that uh, all ages can enjoy. The lesson we learned is, uh, you know, don't miss an opportunity to do something, to take a step forward. Investment in infrastructure is absolutely critical to developing the quality of life that that next generation is looking for. So we're going to have parks that are world class, because that next generation is demanding the green spaces of tomorrow. Last year, we opened the new Myriad Gardens. It's created now a downtown that is much more user-friendly, visitor-friendly, pedestrian-friendly, and a park now that is active basically 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, one of the great lessons learned is that you have to have a combination of citizen uh, desire, political support, and a little bit of creativity and, and certainly determination. It's really critical to involve the community in this, that, that you've got to have that buy-in, you've got to have the people who are going to use it, a part of the process to create it because it provides that ownership. I think you have to first be able to share the vision of what could be, and you got to build that trust, and then you have to bring the public and private sector together. There will always be reasons why something couldn't get done. I mean, part of what we need to do is try to imagine how it can be done. It can happen, and we're yet to see probably some of the best things that are, that are going to come.